Elon Musk has just given, for the first time in, in many years, his prediction for Tesla's stock price. In fact, he's predicting where Tesla will be in five years' time from now. And he's he's saying it's going to be worth a lot more than it is today. In fact, many, many multiples of what it's worth today. If he's right and you're invested in Tesla, you're going to be a multimillionaire It's if he's right. That's the key question here. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching the Electric Viking. A lot of Tesla investors have gotten very wealthy. I've been emailed by many of them, people saying they invested whatever it was, $100,000 before Tesla stock price went ballistic back in 2017, 2018. Uh, yeah, you know what? Kudos to you guys. I actually called my bank and I said, guys, I want to buy $100,000. I want to invest in Tesla. And I just wanted to put it on my home loan. I had at the time a fair bit of equity in my home loan. The bank said, uh, well, we need you to sign this. We need to fill out this form. We need to do this. And 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 then we're going to check this and that and this and this and this and this. And then you have to pay this fee. And it discouraged me from investing in Tesla. And this was right before Tesla stock price went crazy. So because it was such a long and involved process, it took me too long by the time I was ready to actually invest. Well, the boat had essentially sailed. But maybe it hasn't sailed. If Elon Musk is right, then now is actually as good a time as any to buy Tesla stock. Now let's get to the long and short of it. Elon Musk is saying that in the next five years, if Tesla executes extremely well, the long-term value could exceed Apple and Aramco combined. That would give Tesla a $5 trillion market cap and a $1,600 share price. To be fair, uh, some experts, investment bankers, are saying Tesla will be worth more than that. They're saying that Tesla could take 30% of the global labor market through the Tesla bot, which would give them approximately $4 trillion per year. In fact, it would give them around $6 trillion per year, $6 trillion market cap just from its robotics division. Nothing to do with cars, nothing to do with batteries, nothing to do with anything else, autonomous driving, just its robots. Now, can it do that? I don't know. I don't think anyone really knows. It's possible, though. Elon Musk actually responded to a thread about Tesla's final stock price at the end of the year. It was sitting at $248 US dollars. Oh, it's now at $260. He said in the next five years, though, that things will change drastically if Tesla executes extremely well. Is this possible? Could Tesla be worth, well, basically go from $260 today to $1,600 in five years' time? To be fair, Elon Musk is not the only person who sounds crazy. I mean, many others are predicting similar similar things for Tesla. It is possible. They do have the world's second fastest supercomputer, which is tra training possibly the world's largest neural network. That's really the yeah, kind of artificial intelligence you need for robotics, for autonomous driving. Could it happen? Yeah, I mean, it's possible. I, I don't know. I mean, I don't think anyone really knows. What do you think? Do you think there's a chance of this happening? What do you think the chances are? Musk said, I stand by my prediction that if Tesla executes extremely well over the next five years, then the long-term value could exceed Apple and Aramco combined. Now, he's using some kind of, to be fair, weak, kind of weak terminology. He's saying it could be worth more than the value. Could, if they execute extremely well, could be. It's not particularly aggressive. And I think maybe he's using these words carefully because he doesn't want another lawsuit from the SEC. He doesn't want them going after him again, saying you can't tweet, you can't X, whatever it's called now. Maybe that's why he's using those particular words. Or maybe he's not really sure what will happen. He followed this up with another statement as per talknews.com, who actually were the first, I believe the first publication to report on this. As I say though, exceptional execution is needed for this. It will not happen by itself. Does Tesla have the staff that will be able to execute in this way? They could today. Staff do leave. They come and go pretty frequently in companies like this at this level. So who knows? The reason this is a bold statement as per talk news is that Tesla right now is, well, it has a $778 billion market cap. It's worth around $250 per share. You know, that's a lot less than Apple and Aramco put together, of course, significantly less. That said, I did report yesterday on one of the most influential investment banks in America saying they believe that this is likely. In fact, they're saying that this underestimates Tesla's potential. 
Now, if this were true, load up on Tesla, you're going to be a very rich person, but we don't know if it is. And there's other analysts, say those appearing on CNBC, claiming that Tesla is overvalued by a factor of five. They're saying it should be worth about $80 maximum per share. That means Tesla stock price, they predict, over the next 12 months will collapse. They're saying it's it's just a car company. All it does is make cars. And Toyota does it much better than Tesla, apparently, even though obviously Toyota doesn't make EVs. 0.7% of Toyota's vehicle production is EVs. They don't even have a single EV production line. But they're saying that Toyota does it better. If that's true, I mean, all of this would be irrelevant. Now, obviously, anyone with even half a brain knows that that's ridiculous. Now, is Tesla worth less than its stock price today? I don't know. I mean, this is de- this is really determined by stockholders. It's determined by what people are willing to pay for the company. But we do know this. Tesla is obviously not just a car company. Anyone who claims that it is is just an idiot because that's just stupid. If Toyota was selling mega packs, mega battery packs, it had, if it had the world's largest supercharger network that everyone else was trying to join, clawing tooth and nail to join into this supercharger network, if it had a, a, a robotics division, which is you know in its infancy, but at least it's something, if it had all this stuff, if it had autonomous driving technology, which was pretty good. I mean, Toyota doesn't have any of this, not even close. So you can't compare them apples for apples. And I believe Elon Musk is correct in that statement, at least anyway. Apple is currently worth $3 trillion. Warren Buffett, Berkshire Hathaway, 50%. I think it's 48% of their portfolio is invested in Apple. It's one single stock. Basically, Berkshire Hathaway is saying the only company in the world you should really take seriously is Apple. I'm not convinced that's the case. I think that's um, honestly, I think Apple's lost. I don't think they don't have a true leader right now. They don't they don't know what to do. They just keep on making the same thing over and over and they just make it a little bit better. I think they're a bit confused. Since, obviously, the departure, the death of the true leader of Apple, since Steve Jobs passed, I believe Apple sort of doesn't really, it's sort of directionless, like a ship floating in the harbor. It doesn't have a captain. That's my opinion. Clearly, Warren Buffett is very intelligent. Berkshire Hathaway, um, they must know more than I do. Anyhow, Aramco is worth two trillion. So combined, they're actually worth five point one three trillion dollars. If Elon Musk is right, and Tesla's worth more than that, let's say five point two trillion dollars, that would give well Tesla would have to increase its valuation, its current market cap by six point four three times in order to exceed Aramco and Apple. So your money would go up by a factor of probably six and a half times. If you were to invest in Tesla, you know, for the next five years, they executed extremely well. And this were to happen, were to play out. So obviously, five years away from now, we're looking at 2029. Tesla's market cap of 5.2 trillion would leave them at a stock price of around 1,650 US dollars. And actually, you'd be quite rich. If you, if you put in, say, $100,000, you'd have a lot of money you have what? Around $600,000. That's that's a big return. But if you put in a million dollars, well, your return would be enormous. Now, I'm not suggesting you should. I'm just telling you what would happen. This can't happen if Tesla were to be predominantly an automotive company, which it is today. To be fair, majority of its sales, majority of its income comes from selling cars. That has to change completely. There is zero chance that Tesla would have that kind of valuation, even if it were to sell as many cars as Toyota. Even if Tesla was selling 10 million cars a year, which is very possible, I think, with the Model 2 production. I think they can do that by 2030. But even if they are, that doesn't give Tesla a valuation anywhere near this number, not even a fraction of that. That would make their today valuation seem oh, realistic. The price to earnings ratio might be, say, like other automotive companies, around 10. But the thing is, clearly Tesla isn't going for that. It's not going to become the world's biggest automotive company. That's, I mean, it might, but it's not really its number one key goal here. I believe Tesla is focusing now more on automation, robo-taxis on particularly though, even more important than that is the bot, the robotics. I think Tesla knows that. The key here is this, the world labor market is worth more than $30 trillion. It's much, much, it's worth far more than the automotive industry more than $30 trillion. If Tesla gets 30% of that, as some experts predicting, I'm not sure that's realistic, but they're saying that could happen, then that's where this valuation comes from. And that I think is what Elon Musk is actually talking about. What do you think? Do you agree with Elon Musk? Could this happen? 
Let me know your thoughts in the comments, guys, and thank you for watching. Bye-bye.